Hello, Sam from Tool Hut. Today we're going to be going through the operation usage of the Drew Technologies J2534 Toolbox. This is a product that is available for free for any product from Drew Technologies. Doesn't matter if it says Drew on it or not. So if you have a J2534 device that you've purchased off from a tool truck or from somebody like me, it more than likely is made by Drew Technologies. So the, I'll put a link in the description for downloading the software, but it is free for any device from Drew Technologies, whether it's rebranded or not. And it is the same tool. Stand by. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to sh just do a quick uh, run through of getting the J2534 toolbox. I am not going to go through the setup procedure. It is very simple. It's just a, a download and run, and it ends up on your desktop. So you'll end up with an icon on your desktop. So a couple of things about the J2534 toolbox before we get going here. The J2534 toolbox has lots of useful information in it. You do not need to use it every time you're going to program a car. But if you're going to do something that's out of the ordinary, something that is not your day-to-day -day routine, or something you're struggling with, this would be a good place to start your research. Try to see if there's something in here that you've missed. I'll show you starting with the announcements page, the front page. We're going to go through this a couple of steps at a time. I'm not going to go through every manufacturer. I'm just going to hit on some good ones, some uh, stuff that we see on a daily basis that we use the J2534 toolbox for uh, all the time. So... Like I say, the first thing we're going to do is go to Drew Tech's website and download the toolbox. And the setup's pretty simple. And then we'll go through the usage of the tool. You do need a tool plugged in to your, to your laptop or computer, whatever you're using, prior uh, to opening the toolbox. Otherwise, it won't let you open it. Well, you can't. You can open it, but you can't get full function of it. And you do, do need an internet connection. Stand by. First thing you need to do is go to DrewTech.com. Once you're at DrewTech.com, you're going to go to the support button. Then we're going to scroll down to downloads. And then we're going to scroll past all the equipment. It's going to say special applications and under there is J2534 toolbox. Just download it and install it. Okay, so once you have the toolbox open, we're gonna start with just the general tabs. So we've got some tabs going across the top here. So we're not gonna go through all of them. We'll go through the ones that I think are important. So the announcements page, this is a good place to start right here for anything that you wanna do with J2534 because this is the latest announcements. So this may be, you may have the wrong version of software, you may have the wrong version of whatever. So if you scroll down, it got OEM open issue status. So th this is a big one. This is a good place to start. This is known problems. You want to start here, especially if it's a vehicle that you're not used to programming. You want to start right here. So there's always been an issue with the 0607, or 9607 Dodge Rams with the 59 Cummins. Uh, five, the VIN is lost. The vehicle won't start. There's a workaround for it, but I'm not going to get through that. I'm not going to go through that today. We'll go through that in another video. So this is a good place to start. And then we got a sales tab that's just more information where to buy it. You can buy this product at toolhutusa.com, so I'm not going to go through that tab. 
the diagnostics. This is somebody started making a generic scan tool at one point. Uh, my opinion, it's not worth the, the effort to play with it. It takes too much time. So I'm in America, the U.S., so I'm going to click on North American. If you're outside of North American, you can hit European. So I'm going to click on North America. And I just want to start with a couple of manufacturers. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going through all of these. But if you're working on a Acura, and it's not your normal day-to-day -day vehicle that you work on, you got a J2534 walkthrough here with Honda goes through the process of downloading the the products I'm not gonna go through this all you can read it if you want there's some videos on getting started the big one to me is Chrysler they seem to have done a lot of stuff with Chrysler here's the website for Chrysler if you click on that it'll just open the the website for you the Chrysler information tells you uh, the latest thing is is the Ytec 2.0 again I'm not going to go through that with you today but there's information here on how to proceed with J2534 programming there's walkthroughs there's videos here's a flash availability it'll bring up a PDF so you can look and see if the vehicle that you're working on before you do anything needs a program skim instructions read part number skim reset this is a valuable tool if you especially if you put a used PCM in that came out of a vehicle that did not have skim this will reset there close that door or whatever you want to call it uh, for the skim does not work on every vehicle it does work on a few the VIN reset is something that we use a lot there's a couple of scan tools that have started to do this but you can read the VIN of the ECM, you can clear it, and then you can write the new VIN. So this is, again, this is useful for used computers when you want to change the VIN. The SRI reset is the service reminder indicator. You can put in the mileage here. Again, same process. Read the SRI, clear it, and then write it. Then you're doing something out of the ordinary like I said I, I'm getting ready to do a Volvo so here's the current issues it says there's a current communication issues with CAN vehicles make sure you use the latest version of Vita so there must have been an update of the Vita and then just some basic information on how to use the tool the, there is some PDFs in here different things to do uh, VW is the same as the Audi was, Toyota, Suzuki, like I said, I'm not going through all of these, Subaru. So if you want to program a Subaru, here's a good place to start on doing Subaru programming. I've never programmed a Subaru. Uh, I guess it'd be a good place to start for me. Everybody's a little different how they do their programming. I do quite a few sobs, so I don't really need this, the sob. But hopefully you're getting the idea. There's lots of good information here. I do some Nissans. Here's some videos on doing the Nissans. So this is a good place to start. Like I said, so you want the general tab, and then we want the North American tab. And then once you've, if you're having a problem, and you need to call Drew Tech or whoever you got your device from and they need to get on your laptop you can go up here to the support tab they've got their own version of, of team viewer you can click on and it'll just open team viewer for you here's lots of information on programming vehicles right there on the support website you got the device check the vehicle check I'm not plugged into a vehicle right now, but it will give you the protocols that are in this vehicle uh, and the battery voltage. So I think that's good information. The install check will just check to make sure you get the latest drivers in it. So if you're having problems, this is a really good place to 
just come here on the support tab and check your device to make sure you've got the latest and greatest everything on it. I know it was quick. I know it was fast. Hopefully you got the idea of what I was trying to get at on the J2534 toolbox. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more videos like this. Thumbs up, thumbs down, questions, comments, concerns down below. Have a great day.